Narendra Nabai Modi, Chief Minister of the State of Gujarat, distinguished honorable ministers and honorable members of parliament, industry leaders present, delegates from abroad, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed, Namaskar. I feel highly honored and privileged to address you this afternoon at this uh, valedictory function of the sixth vibrant Gujarat Summit 2013. And at the very outset, I would like to express my special thanks to you, the Chief Minister, Sri Modi, for your kind invitation extended to myself and my secretary. And we are really humbled by this proverbial hospitality extended to us. Chief Minister, allow me to tell you how I love being in Gujarat. Only the second time within one year, thanks to the privileged collaboration of my ministry with the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of Ahmedabad, that is EDI. What particularly strikes me in Gujarat is not only its economic and human growth, but foremostly the vision, wisdom, and humanism of Gandhiji which shape the whole persona of Gujarat. I feel, I see, and experience the spirit of Gandhiji in your model of development, in your style of leadership, and your boundless belief in better destiny for your people through global togetherness. In this borderless world, no country is an island which can develop independently, independently and in isolation. Leaders in Gujarat have been rightly inspired in forging partnerships with other economies in pursuit of its sustainable human growth. The Republic of Mauritius, as Gujarat believes in the virtues of an open economy geared to global cooperation. My country, Mauritius, is a small island state of only 720 square miles off the southeastern coast of South Africa. And today it is focused as the gateway to Africa. A drop in the Indian Ocean with a population of around only 1.2 million people. A small republic but with a big ambition, intent to creating innovative development that set new standards in design and quality to build. We offer a wealth of investment opportunities to foreign investors. Mauritius economy is fast growing and the hospitality and property development sector is one of the fastest growing sectors. Market analysis shows that yields for our real estate in Mauritius average between 10% and 12% a year. A favorable business climate, access to immovable property by non-citizens, the rapidly growing service sector, the low business tax regime, the availability of land for development, a world-class workforce, and a well-development financial service sector make of Mauritius an ideal investment location and business activities. So Mauritius is one investment destination with many markets to conquer. And I invite Gujarat to come along and Mauritius also to join the band welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Mauritius does not only look forward to inward FDI, but an equal focus is on outward foreign investment. India and Mauritius have an age-old history of relationship. Our exchanges in the fields of culture, trade and business, as well as knowledge, date back to the 19th century. India is today one of our major economic partners. Both nations enjoy very strong and friendly relations. 
India remains our main import market. Imports for 2011 stood at some 1.2 billion US dollars with major imported products being petroleum products, plastic and linoleum products, cotton yards, fabrics, pharmaceutical and fine chemicals. India is equally on our main export markets. Last year, we exported approximately 15.2 million US dollars worth of goods to India. India has also proffered itself as one of the main investment partners of Mauritius. The Mauritian financial platform has played a key role in driving foreign investments to India. And from 2000, the cumulative Mauritian contribution to India's investment flow, FDI and global business sector combined has amounted to 326.3 billion USD that is 38% of total equity inflows in India since 2000. So the figures of the Reserve Bank of India indicates that since uh, January 2012, the Mauritius International Financial Centre has been one of the preferred financial centres of the Indian business community investing abroad. Figures indicate that nearly 4.8 billion USD of investment have been structured through Mauritius by Indian firms looking at, looking at investing abroad. This testifies to the fact that Mauritius provides a stable, a trusted and a well-regulated platform to global investors. Mauritius has the capability to address every investor requirements. As a direct result of our continuous quest to bring in new reforms, Mauritius has seen, has seen significant improvement in its ranking in the World Bank's Doing Business Report. We are the first African country to join the league of the top 20 economies in the world as regard the ease of doing business. We have progressed from the 49th position in 2007 to the 19th in the 2012. Mauritius is today home to a number of Indian corporates operating across various sectors. Some of these names include the State Bank of India, the Baroda Bank, the GBOT Financial Technologies Group, the New India Assurance, the Hindu Jha Group, the Oberoi Hotels, Infosys, Fortis, Apollo Hospital, Amity University, Ajanta Farm, Pharma, just to mention a few. So we look forward to leveraging our diaspora and welcoming more Indian businesses in our country. And there is also Gujarat to be on board. We value the business acumen and expertise of Indian business leaders. We hope through this business interaction, Mauritius may succeed to transit to the next phase of its economic growth. So returning home, I pledge, Mr. the Chief Minister, that I will inform the Cabinet of Ministers to the vast investment opportunities in Gujarat and urge my colleague, the Vice President, who is the Vice, uh, the Minister of Finance, uh, under whose responsibility falls the Board of Investment to feel an investment mission to Gujarat for further discussion. And to conclude, I wish all of you success in your endeavors and look forward to the strengthening of our relationship. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Your Excellency. We are indeed honored to invite Chief.